Hey y'all, out here at uh, Alloy's Hot Rod Shop and uh, gonna do a little update on the 62 Impala. They've got the, uh, uh, the running gear almost put together. The body's painted. I think it's been buffed once. So anyways, we're gonna get an update on that. Uh, I'm not sure who will tell me about it, but uh, we'll find somebody. Josh, how are you, brother? Good, Scotty, how are you? Not too bad, man, dude. I love that. That is so cool. It's coming right along. Dude, it is. You could just like... I just want one of these sitting in my living room. No, that is beautiful. I cannot believe that's the same frame that we looked at before. Yep, come a long way since the first videos. You ain't kidding. Man, look how smooth that is. It was a mess too, man. It was jacked up, folks. If you haven't seen it, you look at the first video we did on this car, and uh, what a mess. That's hard to believe. That's just gorgeous. I love how you accented everything with the red and the gray. Yeah, it shows a lot of detail. That's a... The idea of all the color change differences and stuff. You said it accents the suspension, right? Is that what you said? It's going to... You made it sound very technical. We've got some little accents. We're going to paint the coal springs red. Right. Actually, the engine and the other little pieces to put them on the polished coil over shocks and make it all just kind of tied in with little accents around right. the car, like the calipers. And right. Yeah, that's cool. And that's what's running a 502 big block in yeah. it. Yeah. Those aren't the valve covers that are going to be on it, though. No, that's just ones they ran on the dyno with. Yeah, mocked up. So this has been on the dyno. Yeah. Do you know what it dynoed at? I think he said in the 540 range. Okay. And then what, uh, is that a throttle body that you're running on there? It's a new MSD throttle body fuel injection. And you said that came with the distributor, so they work together. Yeah, they all uh, work together. MSD sells that's a new combo that we're trying on a few. Have you tried one before? Uh, we tried fast fuel injection, like on the uh, Kevin Clayton, that blue Camaro you okay. shot the other day, yeah. and it's a little different. This works a little more together, so we're going to try this, see if it's any better. Cool. Man, I like how you did that rear end housing in silver, too. Yeah, another little detail. When you look, you won't really see it much until you look underneath it and right. tell its body color. Right. Yeah. No, that one piece. You know, that's the thing, too. It's that one piece, which I guess the normal would have been just to paint the same color as the chassis or paint it red, either way. Right. But I like that you did that one piece and that light silver. It just makes it stand out. Yeah, it's just something different. Right. Now on the exhaust, beautiful. Mike and Jim do that? Yeah. Over yeah. the barrel arrows? They sure did. Yeah. I like how you put this cutout in the chassis, too. Now, we're normally, we see them on Art Morrison's where they run through the chassis, but this being a stock chassis, you didn't have the opportunity to do this that. Is a a stock chassis with the Art Morrison clip on it. We just oh, okay. put the front section on it. And to make it set as low as we always set these cars, we had to pull the exhaust up to come through those little cutouts. Right. So the exhaust wasn't hanging down too low and drag off. Or anything. That's sweet, man. And what transmission is this run in it? It's a TKO, Keesler, uh, I believe it's a TKO 600. Six speed? It's a five. Five speed. Yeah. It's just takes a little more power, a little right. more torque and stuff. Right. Yeah. And it's got six pistons on the front and four on the back? Yep. The big, big should calipers go. and rotors. Should go and should stop. Yeah. Whole package. Now you all are going to be on this one, you think, all the way until it's done? I think so. Yeah. yeah. The body has already been uh, rubbed and buffed and it's pretty much ready to go on here cool. the next few days. When is uh, when are y'all shooting to get this one done? Uh, I think they're trying to shoot for Nashville. I think that's what we've heard. Oh, okay, so. cool. All right, well, we'll keep up with it. Josh, as always, you know I appreciate it, brother. Well, thanks for coming. Thank you. Folks, let's go out. To, I'm going to try to find this body, and I'll uh, see if we can look at it. But there's the uh, chassis to the 62 uh, that uh, Alloway is building. Will you have to rub it again? They'll just go over it uh, Touch it up a few places where it needs where it dries out a little bit. Little yeah, as we're running, the solvents just keep coming out to where you have to rub it again. It gets yeah. out in the sun. Right. How long does that usually go on normally? If you got one, let's say you got one and you, you take it outside, you know, it's it's gonna be uh something that's gonna be out quite a bit. How many days in the sun does it take until all them solvents come out and you can actually get your final buff and that's what you're gonna end up with? Uh that'll usually go over it right after the first time it's out in the sun. And that'll keep it pretty good. There'll just be some little touch-ups through the season. Oh, okay. But uh, usually it's real hot 
Oh, yeah, it's hot down here. Right, right. So that cures it out pretty good. So. Cool. So you don't have to wait 30 days. Didn't you say you had to wait so long to wax one and all kinds of things? Like when you painted your car, it wasn't like you could just go do what you wanted. That's what they used to say. But this stuff now, he just he can do it the next day. Start sanding it, let it cure a little bit, and then the next day, buff it and wax it. And it's ready to go. Fine. No kidding. Man, it's looking good. Man, this one here, this is just pretty much a stock body car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got the chrome trim around and everything. Yeah, we're just testing that. Doors done? Hood and deck lid, all that stuff? Everything's done. Wow. Well, this ought to go pretty quick then. Yeah. Yeah. This ain't no work for me at all. <laughs> I think y'all got it under control. No, it's coming along great, man. Thank you. Yeah. And you got the wheels picked out for it already? Yeah, set of the five spokes, Bobby's personal. Oh, okay. Socks cool. on the 62 Corvette, 60. The, the oh, okay. The black, All right. Those same wheels. Yeah. And what are we going? 22s in the back and. 20s and 17s. 20s and 17s. Cool. Well, folks, there you go. There's the uh, 62 Impala from uh, Alloway's Hot Rods. A little update on that. Hopefully, uh. Hopefully it won't be too long before we see it over at Holcomb's getting some stitching done on it. So, anyways, hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.